So yeah, the numbers on the right is what it's currently at, and the yellow number on the left is what it's trying to get to. I can see our fans are in here, and that's the nozzles, so we're almost there. I don't... So today, something new and exciting for the channel. I'm also in this awesome track suit I got for a video, but time to set this up. This is a really heavy dual. You see it's got like two printing things. So you can 3D print two items at once. So we're gonna unbox it, but it's way too big to even like fit on my table. I'm just gonna open everything up here, lay it out on the kitchen table. I'm gonna figure out how to assemble it and then show you it printing, I guess, two things at the same time. So my first 3D printer, something that, I mean, I've been wanting one of these for years, but I just never pulled the trigger on paying four or $500 for something that I knew I would not really use that much. So this company was nice enough to send me the $600 dual printer for free to make a video on, so special thanks to them. So click like, click subscribe, indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com for the merch, and let's check out this dual printing 3D printer. This is the info on the box. That's their website and what the printer will look like once it's together. Same bit of information there. So we got some foam on top. Oh yeah. I'm kind of hoping this is like fully put together, but I doubt it. Instruction manual. All right, that's, that's good. It's uh, an instruction manual. Oh, okay. Oh, well, never mind. It says it is in English. More foam. Okay, foam, foam, foam. Oh, that's underneath that. So I think this whole piece has got to come out. Yeah. All right, there's one big piece. Uh, more foam. There's lots of foam. There's a box here. A box. Uh, this looks like a power supply or something. Ooh, look at that. Look how smart I am. It was a power supply and I didn't even know it. Oh, maybe it's not a power supply. <laughs> uh, we got a box over here. Another one of these things. Is that it for the box? That's it for the box. I don't know how you take it out. Foam. More foam. There we go. Now I think it's ready to come out. Ooh, hit my hoofs. There we go. Uh, let's clean this up. Let's see what's in these. Oh, so that's a will of the 3D printing stuff. That's another will of it. No idea what that is. All right, some zip ties. This one's got parts, lots of parts. Flash drive, came with a micro SD card. Sweet. This thing is a lot of uh, parts. Hey, they include a cable for it. Look at that, we even get little cutters. Nice. Alrighty. So, uh, yeah. All right, so here is uh, everything out on the table and we're gonna have to figure out- uh, This these. is the assembly. Okay, good. So there's assembly instructions in here. We'll try to show what we can show, but for the most part, we'll be focused on getting it put together correctly. So, uh, yeah, you can follow that to put it together. <laughs> so basically the only way to get this onto this is to lean it over the side and have somebody hold it while you go underneath to put the screws in somewhere in there. But uh, we have the top on officially. Now we will uh, go to the next step. All right, so once you line it up here, you just run your cable over the top and then your screws go right into the holes there, four of them. And this of course will plug right in back here. They don't really tell you which one's which, so this one's labeled like two somewhere. So like this one's labeled E1, but it doesn't really tell you which one goes which. So I chose this side for one, this side for two, because the connectors down here are matching with the sides from the back of this. So I don't think that'll necessarily matter, but you know, that's what I did. So from the photos, this white part on the side right there is facing out, so it looks like I guessed correctly. All right, so now we assemble these little pieces on top there. So then we take these little pieces and we have to fix inside this metal bar so we can screw on these here with these screws. 
These go on the backpack here. If you're looking at the back of the machine, that's where they go. All right, so get these on here essentially as tight as you can. And once they're on here as tight as you can, you come up here and get them to pop into place and then tighten them one time to the right, which will make these go vertical and lock them into place like this one here. Okay. All right, so now, now we have most of it together to where all we have to do is the wiring. Once uh, we feed these through too, we gotta feed the tubes, however, if that part works. All right, so then you attach these little things to each cable on each side. And then just follow the uh, cable guide here of where to plug everything in it. All right, so out of the side here, you'll have two cables. The shorter cable here, one plugs in here, and then the black one plugs in there. And then the longer cable here, one plugs in underneath here, and the black one plugs in here to put it all together like that. Ooh, touch screen. Okay, so a few things about this. Apparently, from what we can tell, these little things just dangle there. The uh, 3D printing stuff runs through them and then runs there. You can see it'll focus, runs into these other metal pieces. It's very confusing, but we believe we have it set up correctly. I think we have this right. So I don't know at all what I'm looking at here. I think I got to plug it into a computer or somehow get a file to put in here and then it should be able to print from the SD card. So that's, uh, that's what I think we'll try next, but it's at least everything's confusingly hooked up. And if these supposedly really just dangle like that, then we've uh, got it put together right. So uh, let's try to figure out the software side. All right, so we've got our SD card in, and now I have two options here when I, when I select print SD. So I'm gonna try this one, print blah, 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 G code. We're just gonna say, okay, and see if the house catches on fire or see what happens. That's got this bit of information here. It looks like that's counting up to 35. All right, so now these are changing. So it looks like it's warming up and doing whatever it needs to do to print from this file. So uh, let's give this a few minutes to do what it needs. And let me also make sure that none of this junk that's all around, it's in the way. So yeah, the numbers on the right is what it's currently at and the yellow number on the left is what it's trying to get to. And I can see our fans are in here and that's the nozzles, so we're almost there. I don't, all right, so that one's that it's where it needs to be, and the other one's about to be where it needs to be. Oh, it's moving. Well, don't go over there and do anything. Is there room for it to go back? All right. I didn't expect it to go back. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, we're, we're 3D printing. No idea what we're printing. It's whatever was on that file. <laughs> whatever, whatever this is, 1%. So yeah, I guess we'll let this uh, finish. Let me try to zoom in for you. Yeah, look at that. Interesting. I wonder, if we, were we supposed to print on that? <laughs> I don't think nothing told us otherwise. <laughs> We're up to 2%, let's, let's, uh, let's see what happens here. A couple other little points here. The flashing you see there is normal. That just means that that's the nozzle currently printing. And the other one being green, it just means that it's on standby. All right, now E2 is over here doing some work. We're just gonna let this go, it's only at 7%. We're just gonna leave it here and let it do its thing. Very interesting little product. Let's see what this makes. Ah, uh, all right, well, Hi, my queen. Hi, my queen. So it's 3D printing. There's definitely parts that are not uh, in the instructions at all. Like, don't even tell you what the item is. And so that's essentially everything besides these pieces, which nothing tells me what they do, and uh, this little trim, which this trim's just made to go like inside here and inside here to make it look blue and fancier. And a little information of nozzle offset. And there's your uh, sizes, building volume, machine weight, rated power, input power, etc. Uh, but this is how you would set it up. Definitely uh, something that you've really got to learn and read a whole lot into. But we've at least got it to the point that it's 3D printing whatever was on the memory card file already. So uh, we're going to go ahead and end this video because we've been doing this for a couple of hours and it's been pretty crazy. 
So I'll of course have this 3D printer linked down below if you'd like one for yourself. Not many of them have this dual printing feature. So that's one of the biggest unique parts of this one is that it can print two different colors or two different things at the exact same time, like duplicate, etc. So that'll do it for today though. Thank you guys for watching. Click like, click subscribe. Aww. Indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com for the merch. And we'll see you in the next one. Deuces. Bye.